it's a it's a click lip liner y'all i think i just accidentally created a combo oh my gosh i think i did how cute is this tell me quickly like i said sometimes i'm in the mood for the most and once again add to cart okay the moisture was moisturizing i want to slather on three creams two oils and a, a body serum because it's gonna last me a couple months and for the price it needs to last me all year i need a big boy i need a big boy i need a big boy so is it a scam yes it is and I'm gonna fall for it every time. I love this. Hey gems, it's Grandma's Jamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today we are going to be doing a Sephora recommendations slash Sephora haul video. Um, I was planning, I was trying to plan out a Sephora recommendations video and when I was looking at the items that I was listing on, on my iPad it was looking real last year-ish okay now there have been some additions um, but I figured instead of just repeating everything I was gonna repeat let me show you guys what I got because I do plan on trying some new things so <laughs> your girl made a dent your girl made a little dent I restocked on some old favorites restocked on some new favorites and picked up a lot of products that I want to try out. So I don't know how there are still products I haven't tried yet because I feel like I'm at Sephora every other week. It's literally a sickness, but we move. Now, before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you're part of the Chem Squad. And now let's get into it. <laughs> I told you long ago, long ago, long, 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 long. Not the water falling on my shirt. Oh my God. Mm. Okay, so if you um have watched my vlogs, have watched past Sephora videos, anything like that, then these products should be very familiar to you. So I'm just gonna quickly run through these because you already know the tea already. Love these products. Zound, okay. First things first, add the real on my Dr. Dennis Gross uh peel pads these are the extra strength formula they have the standard ones the universal and they have sensitive skin formulas for those of you whose skin may not be able to handle all the acids that goes into these now personally i pretty much own almost everything from all of his lines like i really think that his products are amazing so this was the first product that i started with they sent me his peel pads and pr i started with the universal kit and I've been hooked ever since. And I now own the retinol ones. I have the body treatment ones. I have the serums and moisturizers that go with these. I think the only thing I don't have is like the SPF. But yeah, and I'm gonna show you why soon. But I'm telling y'all, this is the best time to stock up. Like these are expensive. I'm not gonna hold y'all. These peel pads are expensive. And so I'm gonna get them while they're 20% off. Because it's ghetto buying three at a, at a time. But you know what's more ghetto? buying them full price yeah not doing that so i look you want to get two more but my bank account is crying i'm not gonna hold y'all she is sobbing okay wailing drenched in her own tears baby a mess but yeah so i didn't get their spf because i have one that i love already that you guys know which is a super goop every single face watery lotion you guys know this is one of my favorite 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 sps for my face sps 50 it doesn't leave a white cast it moisturizes the skin leaves a subtle glow i love everything about this i love how it looks the the, the shape the packaging do i have one here let me go ahead and open this it's just really cute and nifty and i love the, the formula it's just a vibe overall now is this a scam yes because they charge you so much more for this little bottle because it's a face SPF. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because it's a face SPF as opposed to the body SPS that come in a galley and they're like 50 bucks. And I think this is like 34. So is it a scam? Yes, it is. And I'm gonna fall for it every time because I love this stuff. And I got two. Once again, I wish I could have got more, but my bank account in tears. In tears. Yeah. Oh, I messed up. No, I didn't. 
I bought more Travel Rio de Janeiro sprays because I love these. I literally just got this like a month ago and it's already halfway done. Like I love bringing these with me and my suitcase and my travel bags, a great everyday throw on body mist. Um, I also re-upped on the full size of this one uh, because this, this is the one that I use in the Casa. And I always wear like a body spray or something to go to the gym, which like, you know, exists in a house. Your girl likes to smell good, okay, period. So I got me a full size of that one. Last but not least, I got me a full size of this one, which is the number 40 uh, Black Amber Plum in Vanilla Woods uh, Mist. I had this in body care, not in spray. So I went ahead and grabbed this one as well, but I do prefer number 68 over 40, but they all smell delicious okay delicious i love most of their fragrances not all of them but most of them so you should definitely check them out if you haven't yet and i'll tell y'all every time check them out okay the whole line there's bound to be something that you like they usually have discovery sets or something try them out i feel like i even did like gift giving and stuff like that and i feel like i included them i talk about them a lot y'all so if you haven't tried them out yet i don't know what to tell you i don't know what you're waiting for truly truly In this bag, <laughs> I have three bags, by the way. In this bag, this is a combination of items that I had delivered to the house, that shipped to the house, I should say, the same day shipping um, that they have, where you can pretty much order and they'll bring your items same day if you order by a certain time. Um, and they usually use like DoorDash or something like that. But yeah, um, this will make more sense. If I took the stuff out of the bag before I started talking, because who wants to hear all the crackle and pop shop? I'm sorry. Okay, so I picked up two new fragrances, and I'm not gonna lie, I had quite a few in my cart, but I said I don't want to. I don't want to blind buy. <laughs> I want to go to the store. I want to smell them and make sure that I like them, and then buy. I've done blind buys in the past, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wasting anything because like, yeah, you can open it, use it, smell it, whatever, and if you don't like it, return it, but that's a waste if you have the option to try it out first. Now, there are perfumes that they did not yet carry in stores that I had to blind buy, like my Commodity Milk. When I bought it, it was not yet selling it in stores, but it's crazy because they sell it in stores now, which is wonderful. So if you can, go to the store and, and try them out yourself. I tried to look up a store location that had everything I wanted on the list. Um, unfortunately, like the, the night before, like the morning of, some of the items weren't available anymore, but whatever. Um, I picked up the the new Kaoli fragrance. Um, it has notes of pistachio, gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, and cotton candy. It is clearly on the sweeter gourmand side of things. Um, I think that this is great for lounging in the house in some cute loungewear. Um, maybe if you have a boo coming over. Like, I just, I love the vibes that it gives. It's super sweet, but like warm and mmm. Like, let me spray it. I guess it's a great time to go ahead and open this packaging. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, honestly, but I sprayed it out in store, and while it didn't give me like a wow factor, I found myself always going back to smell it, or like I would like move my arm around, and I'll smell it again, I'd be like, hmm, something about this is captivating me. So I said, let me go ahead and get it. Ooh, I got the, bit. wait a minute, this is not the same size as my other Kaoli ones. Low key, I'm trying to remember, do they come in different sizes? Oh, because this is a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. Like, this is a big boy. Now, I would buy this size in a vanilla 28. I would, I mean, I would have bought it. Yeah, I would have bought it. <laughs> but I did not realize it was this big. What is this? Three, I feel like this is bigger than 3.4. This is a 3.4, 100 milliliters. Oh my God. Let me spray that. Mmm, I like it, y'all. It gives like creamy, sweet, warm vibes. Like, mmm. Rio de Janeiro has a pistachio based body spray, and I don't like it. So I, I was not sure how I was going to like this one, but I'm actually a fan. And she's cute. Like, it's this cute mint color. I'm a fan. And I, I do enjoy the smell. I do, y'all. I do. 
This is something I'll wear if I know I'm gonna cause a problem. Like I know I wanna get under his skin. I'm pulling this one out. I can't believe, I didn't realize they had, I thought they all came in one size. Unless it was like the sample, like the trial size. Oh, baby, I gotta get the big vanilla one. Hmm. Next, I picked up Good Girl Blush by Carolina Herrera. Um, I have the regular Good Girl. I felt, I believe I told you guys this story already, but I fell in love with it because I had a friend that was wearing it and it smelled so good on her. And I've worn it, but I don't think it smells as good as, as me. Like when I wear it on myself, I don't feel captivated. But when she wore it, I was just like, oh my God, what do you have on? Like it, it went so well with her body chemistry. Ugh, I wish she would wear it more often. <laughs> Is that weird to ask your friends to wear perfume more often so that you can smell them? Oh my God, cause I, I would do it. I have another friend that she mixes these two perfumes and she smells divine. It was to the point where she wore it one time, she was like, I wore this just for you. And I said, yes you did. <laughs> cause she be smelling the fuck good, okay. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I love the packaging. It's gonna go right next to the original one. But when I saw that I had it in pink and it was um, called Good Girl Blush, I said, okay, this is clearly gonna be more feminine, a little bit more like swaft. And I have been in my feminine fragrance bag lately. And that's crazy. Cause like, I, I usually don't go for like pretty perfumes necessarily. But I feel like after I got my Nishio, um atomic rose and my delina which so similar honestly um and then i got my was it miss dior absolute something but i'm just like i low-key am building like a pretty girl fragrance collection and now i have her to add and like she's a heel come on bro come on i don't think i sprayed this one on my skin i think i, I sprayed it on the, like a tester and it smelled really good but has the emblem right here and she's just really pretty overall such a cute shoe mm. oh yeah i like her pretty in pink but still like bold like this will be an amazing brunch perfume Ooh, oh my gosh see and i just i always end up like i don't know what it is i always come back to it but yeah i'm definitely happy with my fragrance picks that i got from sephora so next I picked up the Clarins um, Double Serum and I actually meant to pick this up during the Ulta sale because they did have their 21 Days of Beauty and this was discounted um, but by the time I, I tried to buy it like maybe I wanted 2 o'clock in the afternoon like sometime in the middle of the day and they were sold out like the girls ate this serum up and I've been hearing so many things about it so I decided to finally grab it I did buy the eye serum a little while back I haven't used it yet I guess I was waiting for this one but now I want the, the lip oil because now I need a whole Clarence beauty routine like am I ridiculous because now I want to same day delivery the Clarence lip oil but I've heard so many great, amazing things about this. Actually, Brittany raves about this as well. And I think that was like the cherry on top. I said, okay, let me go ahead and get it. Um, and it's supposed to be really great for anti-aging. And I think Gina was raving about the eye serum and Brittany was raving about this, this the face serum. And so I just said, I, I need all the goods. Like I am so heavily into skincare right now. I want all the goods. So I finally picked this up and now I need the oil. I just, I just do. I just do. Um, who else was raving about this? I think Brittany was raving about this too. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. And I wanted the night cream in particular because it has retinol in it. And she did say that was like a more of a thicker uh, emollient cream. And y'all know, even though I have combination skin, I love rich, thick butters for my face. Like I love for my skin to feel plump and moisturized at all times. So I decided to pick this up. Now... <sighs> I know y'all see this tiny bottle like this is not what I asked for so what had happened was I ordered the the, the big jug the big one okay oh bffr look at this no this is going back I ordered the big value size but they ran out so I saw this in store and just grabbed it but this is giving sample size this is giving travel size I this is a three days worth this is not gonna work for me but it's so expensive it's so expensive and then it's not something that I was planning on using every day um, I thought that this would be great to incorporate into my routine maybe like once 
once a week um especially like if i'm having a lazy day and i don't want to do my full peel pad routine because i'm not gonna lie waiting two minutes in between that is a routine okay it's a commitment it takes dedication it takes a lot and sometimes i don't have a lot to give okay there's some days where i'm in a mood for extra there's some days i want the bare minimum and i feel like this is gonna be perfect for that because i can just put on a cute little hydrating serum if that and put on this moisturizer and not only be moisturized but also get the retinol benefits and it's expensive so i'm not gonna have no problems with using it once a week baby because it's gonna last me a couple months and for the price it needs to last me all year but yeah um allegedly they have the big one back in stock we're gonna see as soon as this video is done i'm gonna place my um up, up, updated sephora order the clarence oil and the dead night cream Whew, i have a problem mm. okay so for these last three products that fall in the skincare category um i really even started delving into this side because sephora collection products are 30 percent off for the entire sale so I first started looking at this Sephora Firming Night Cream with Peptides. Now, I picked this up because I said I like the size, I like how light it is. And now I do have a slew of moisturizers that I really do enjoy. Um, and I'm not as picky about moisturizers when it comes to warmer months because my skin isn't as dry on the exterior perimeter sides. The center is going to be oily. One thing about it, the middle is always going to be oily, but the sides of my face differs depending on the season. So I said, in case this is not the most moisturizing moisturizer, I feel like this will still work for me to keep my travel bag. But I put a little bit on my hand and then I was like rubbing it in and oh, it didn't do anything for the way that my skin looked. Like I, I personally thought my skin still looked a little dull underneath my hand, but the moisture... I said, oh, Sephora might, Sephora just might be onto something. Now, keep in mind, I haven't used this on my face yet. It was just on my hand. But the way it was just, mm, the moisture was moisturizing on the hand. I said, oh, baby. And I think the regular price is $18 plus 30% off. Oh, I said, in the cart you go. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh, I need me some of this. And then that's what led me over to this side because I saw that this said all day hydrator, hydrate and glow um, with hyaluronic acid. And I said, all day hydrator and glow. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, y'all. So that put a little bit of this on my head and I said, it's giving butter for the face. Like, the way the back of my skin felt so moisturized and soft, but it wasn't greasy. I mean, I like a little grease. I'm not going to hold y'all. I like a little some, some. But for ones that don't, if you just want hydration without the greasy look, you may want to look into Sephora Collection. Once again, I have not used these on my face. I just tested these out on my hand. But baby, the way my hand was sopping up that moisture, I said, oh, you know, Sephora just might be on something. So did I actually need these two moisturizers? No. But did I get them anyways? Hell yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And this was a firming night cream. B baby, this on top of the Clarence. Come on, anti-age. Period. Last but not least, in the skincare category, I picked up the resurfacing peel mask. Um, I decided it was worth a try. Now, I didn't read the reviews on these. Y'all, I was on a mission. I bought this in store, but I did briefly type it in on the Sephora website. I saw the number of stars it had, and once again, add to cart. Okay, I didn't read what people were saying, but I saw that thing damn near had five stars. I said, Give it to me. Okay, anything that can help me reduce my use of the pill pads, these expensive AF but worth every penny pill pads, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. Okay, um. Yeah, so this says 13% AHA, BHA, and PHA acids. Um, let me see. Leave it on the face for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse with water. Use it once a week, then increase it twice a week if needed. But yeah, baby, oh, I said, I'm going to try this. And you know, everything from Sephora brand is already cheap. 
plus 30% off. If you have ever been considering anything from this brand, now is the time to try it. The way I stocked up, please, you better believe Sephora man got my name on it. No, I know I said that was the last product for skincare. I lied. Not on purpose, but I lied. Uh, because I also saw this sugar body scrub. Now, this says it's made of fruit acids. It's called a scrub, but it's really just oil in a bottle, okay? This is really pure, <laughs> pure oil. Now, when I open it to look at the tester, the oil literally just drizzled down the tar. <laughs> And something about that said, Chimima, take it. <laughs> I don't know if it's scrub. I don't know if it's non-comedogenic. I don't know if it's going to break me out. I don't know if I'm going to like it. But I saw the oils and I said, I want it. <laughs> I might hate this. I might. Um, but I feel like this is going to be really good for those days when, once again, I want the bare minimum. Once I get out the shower, I know I'm not going to want to put lotion on. I already have to dry off this big body. I got to moisturize it again, too. Like I said, sometimes I'm in the mood for the most. I want to slather on three creams, two oils, and a, a body serum. Some days, I don't even want to dry off. <laughs> okay? And I feel like this is more so for the days where I don't want to dry off. Like after I moisturize, take a little bit of this, hit the body up, hold <laughs> that thing down in the shower, then hop straight in the bed, okay? So we're going to see how this performs. Oh, this has H. Oh, I just say fruit acids, huh? AHAs. But yeah, hun. We gonna see. <laughs> By the way, I'm still smelling the Carolina Herrera blush divine like it's still pretty but it's bolder but like in the best way okay mm. Mm. last but not least this is the makeup bag now i didn't i don't think i did too much damage with the makeup um, I'm pretty content with where I am with my makeup stash right now, but that's probably because honestly, I, I, I did make a good dent at Sephora a couple months ago, so I'm pretty well stocked from that point. Um, but once again, I, uh oh, I'm missing one. The Sephora brow pencils, they eat, they eat. They're more on the drier side, so I find that they stick to the, the, the skin and the hairs pretty well. They're waterproof, and they have really good shade ranges. So it's usually something there for everybody. Now, I usually go for medium brow or chocolate brown. It's a chocolate. Is a chocolate brown or what? Yeah, chocolate brown. These are my two go-tos. I'm telling y'all, something about the store brand eyebrows just been doing it. And between this one and Ulta, I'm every once in a while i switch but i think these are currently my favorites right now but on sale y'all 30 percent off <laughs> put that in my excess makeup drawer okay let me try to organize child because my life is in shambles shambles y'all oh my wow no she smells really good y'all the carolina carolina is it carolina or carolina carolina blush it smells really good oh uh, yes I made some really good picks this time y'all I have quite a few lip products here I love lip products guys um, I feel like you guys wow I have a lot of lip products but I feel like you guys kind of know that already hmm? um, I'm trying to organize this so I can have my life somewhat in order <sighs> somewhat child because <laughs> at this point it's not giving order I don't know what it's given but it ain't order oh my gosh almost all of these are lip products I have a sickness. OMG. No, seriously? What is actually life? Dream, how many lips do you have, please? How many? How many? Quickly. No, this is sick. <laughs> What's that girl's name on TikTok? You're sick. <laughs> okay, these are somewhat organized now, so let's get into it. First things first, I picked up this Sephora Mini Daily Brush Cleaner. It was in the little, um, you guys know the uh, the little aisle when you're at checkout where it, it kind of tempts you to try all these like mini stuff. So I picked this up um, because I'm a lazy bastard and I hate cleaning my brushes. So I figured this would be really cute to use 
you know, on a day-to-day -day basis on a go to kind of maintain my brushes. Next, I picked up the Milk Pore Eclipse Matte Setting Spray. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about it. I have the regular one right here. Um, I like this packaging. I like that you can see how much is in it. This one does not give the same vibe, but it does match their primers. So I get, I get, I get where they're going with them. Um, my only thing is, I, while I also have this, I also have the travel size. My beef is that it leaks. Like, when I tried to travel with this, it would get everywhere. And so I don't travel with this anymore. And now I'm like concerned that that might be an issue with this one. But I mean, I'm not gonna travel with this big bazooka of a spray anyways. Let's see if you can see like a little mist shot. Oh, not bad. Fine, okay. Ah! Now the, the milk, what is this called again? Hydro Primer breaks me out. The matte one, I don't think it did, but I also wasn't using it as consistently. For me, it didn't keep me matte, but I decided to try this spray as well. Oh, shake well. I decided to try this spray anyways, but I am going to keep a leg out to make sure that this doesn't break me out. Um, and we're gonna see if it gives. But y'all know, I think black is so sexy. Like, black is really that girl, always and forever. So hopefully this works out. Oh my God, Tasha mentioned a MAC, um, like a matte holding spray too. And I meant to pick that up and I completely forgot about it because one thing about it, especially in these warmer months, I need my makeup to sit, honey. So yeah, when I go out next, I'm gonna give this one a whirl. So we are gonna see. My, my Charlotte Tilbury spray, love her life, love her life. She holds on to the makeup, but she doesn't do anything to keep my center face matte. So it's given, do I need to combine products like this all over and this in the center? We gonna try it out. <laughs> One thing about Jamima, she is going to try it out, okay? And I'ma let y'all know. <laughs> Next, I picked up this Soft Glam 2 mini palette from Anastasia. And I picked this palette up specifically for travel. Um, when I travel, typically, depending on the location, I find that if it's like a more sunny, tropical climate, I don't really care to do as much makeup. But if it's like a trip where the girls are getting dressed and we outside and we in outfits and looks and stuff, sometimes I want to do a little extra on my eyes and eyeshadow palettes are just a lot to carry. One thing about my suitcase, they are always overweight. So anything I can use to, to minimize, to reduce, anything like that, give it to me. So I picked up this palette and because I figured I can do a decent amount of looks with this. I really wish that this have like a standard gold in here. Um, but I do like that it has um, two potential crease shades and a black to darken it or make anything smoky. And it just has a good amount of shades that I can work with. Now, like I say, I don't have the gold. But I can work with that. You know, if I have a little highlighter with me, I can use it as my gold. I can make this work. You know, this is a very good travel palette with essential colors that can make most looks work. So glad I got this. Super cute. Easy to throw on in my travel stuff. Next. Oh, I forgot who I saw using this. Uh, oh, and that's what sold me, baby, on this freaking concealer. Ooh, not concealer, color corrector, sorry. This is the Ula Henriksen. Ah, I didn't want to open. Sagila. And a person had like dark circles like I do, and they used it as the, they used the, this product alone underneath the eye, blended it out, and the way it just did what its name said it was going to do, the way it color corrected her dark circles. And I said, oh my gosh. So I am currently trying to create a real like everyday makeup look for me my beef with that look is every time i put concealer on it completely changes my face and no matter how simple the look is it looks full face on me <laughs> to everybody else anyways and i experimented by not wearing concealer but doing the rest of the shebang just a lighter version of it I didn't love it, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. So I think that adding this or trying this out anyways is going to be a beautiful, beautiful solution. Like, oh, 
All right, she just applied it. She blended it out. Nice creamy texture. I definitely need to make sure that this is not going to crease. But man, man, oh man, the way this thing blends out, like, you can, can you even see it? Oh, the way this, I cannot wait to try this. Ula Henriksen, I feel like they're slowly dabbling into makeup. They definitely have the banana vitamin C whatever primer. And I have that too. I don't use it as often because I tend to enjoy primers that will make your makeup stick to it. But it is a cute primer with skincare benefits, which we love. A multitasking queen, okay? So I cannot wait to use this. This is also a vitamin C, C stick banana bright so hopefully it'll give you that yeah enhanced vitamin c caffeine and brightening pigments oh and this is the shade pumpkin this is the darkest shade they do have one that's lighter than this but i cannot wait to try this y'all like oh if i figure out who posted this i'll put it into this clip like when i want to tell you it completely sold me stunning okay now, if you guys don't know, this is a House Labs Stan account over here. I have so many other products, and yes, I found out that I'm missing some in my collection and need to get more. So, um, I love their highlighters. I started off with their darker highlighters because I've been using them as kind of like blush toppers, which works beautifully. But then I was like, why don't I actually try them as highlighters? Now, I did get one shade. I look, you don't know what I did with it. I used it today, actually, and I... I I think I may have accidentally packed it into a bag into my travel bag. Yeah, I did. Oh, side note, I didn't buy any more blushes, but their blushes are freaking fantastic. Like, fantastic. Grab some, get your hands on them to die for. But um, this is one of the highlighters I got. I feel like this is gonna be another one that's more of a blush topper, which is what I got it for. The other one I got was a more like rose goldy goldy highlighter like true highlighter which is what i have on my cheeks now stunning and it's called amber rose amber glow something like that but this is also a stunning color and i feel like it's gonna be so pretty i've been wearing a lot of orangey and coral blushes lately this is going to be so pretty on top of them like i just feel it in my blood and then i found out that house labs has bronzers yeah i added two of those bad boys to my cart gonna what time is it I want, I want them to i want the face to come today yeah, we're gonna pause the video real quick because I need to place this same day order. But what if I need more? We're gonna rush through this because I need to make sure I, I place this order by five o'clock. Okay, I need them today. Today. Okay, so next I picked up two bronzer sticks. You guys know I was heavy on my cream and liquid bronzing and contouring for a long time. Um, and then I don't know what happened. I just went back to using just powders, but I think it's time to go back into my makeup bag. Um because the way that cream bronzing really just naturally sculpts the face. And I love a sculpted face. Like the girl with the strong jawlines and just the stuff. Oh, I love it. And so if I got to make mine with makeup, then I'm going to do it. So I picked one up from Rare Beauty. Oh, okay. She's cute. I definitely could have gone a shade darker. Oh, yeah. This is not for me right now. I could definitely finesse it for sure. Yeah, I could. But this is giving bronzer, like true bronzer for real. So that's good. See, this is why I need to wait to place the order because I, I need to go up a shade on this. This is the shade Full of Life. This is going to be a true bronzer on me and really warm up my skin. And I picked up the one from Milk Makeup. Baby, where is the rest of this? Look at this tiny product. Like, this is so tiny. This is going to be perfect for travel though. And this is in the shade blitzed oh i'm scared to even use this child you can't waste this oh but you can see the difference oh that's absolutely gorgeous these two together those two together but yeah i definitely want to go up one shade on the rare beauty bronzer for sure so next i picked up the refi brow gel in the shade deep brown um i've tried their primer before which i wasn't the biggest fan of but i've been hearing so many things about their other products so i decided to try my hand at that um one of these being these brow gel i was intrigued by the brush applicator you guys see like how it has like a ball on the on the end of it i don't know i just thought it was interesting and i like to send my mind on interesting things 
So hopefully this works out well. I probably should have gotten this in clear to see how I like the formula first, but we move. Anyways, moving on and further indulging in my lip oil obsession. I saw these and I said I had to try these because the packaging is so stinking cute. This is the Get Glazed Lip Duo. And this is in Candy Apple and Mystery Glaze. And it's these two lip oils here. But the packaging alone, like, these like lip oils that i mean honestly most of these lip oils feel like lip glosses but they're just so comforting to use and especially like the dior ones with the like amazing lip applicator Ugh, i don't know this one has a thick applicator as well <gasps> it seems like it does oh i love that that's one of my favorite things about them uh, yes like to feel like your lips being covered by the plush furry brush and it's applying this moisturizing juicy lip oil all over your lips and your lips just look so succulent Ugh, gagging and it's so cute i got it for the packaging i'm not gonna lie i don't need any more lip oils but if it's cute i'm gonna get it now this lip oil I had it in my cart, took it out, saw it in store, and grabbed it again. Now, I bought this mainly because there was a honey-based lip balm that I used from Tony Mally back in the day. And whenever I had like, like a lip reaction from a lip product, maybe it was like a spot or something, or I was allergic to something, using that oil-based lip balm used to be so soothing and healing for my lips and I'll, it would get rid of the rash. So in my mind, I'm like, this is not even makeup, this is medicine. Because if it's a honey infused lip oil, clearly it's gonna have the same <laughs> effects. Because why wouldn't it? And also, it's cute. Like, <laughs> so in my mind, I feel like this should be a, a, a tax credit, health credit write off because this ain't makeup. This is health, okay? This is to nourish and treat my lips and make sure they are always juicy, soft, and smooth. But look at the packaging. How cute is this? How? How? How cute? Tell me. Quickly. Quickly. This is so cute. In the nail cam? Be for real. This is so cute. It was exp It was like $32. I wouldn't even recommend this, honestly. I would not recommend this. For one, I don't like the smell of honey. I don't think I like the smell of this, but I don't really smell anything. Hold on. It smells like medicine. Like, it's just because it's cute I wanted it. I'm not going to lie. Fuck. I have no spine. <laughs> But it's so cute. Oh, I love her. But I'm going to try her out and see how I like her. I do wish that they had also hopped on a trend with the thicker lip wands. But we move. We move. I just want y'all to know that I smell so delicious right now. And oddly enough, I feel like it's the pistachio and the good girl mixed together. That's like creating this whole like sweet, feminine, bold like scent. And I'm almost like, did I just accidentally discover a new combo? Because I would never think to pair them together, but I think they're doing something. Let me rub them together. Y'all, I think I just accidentally created a combo. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, I think I did. Wow, who would have thought? I would have never paired these two together. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay so hold on. so next i picked up another refried product i think oh no is this what i thought i picked up did i pick up the right thing oh crap oh yes i did okay so i picked up the uh a refi lip liner and Oh, I picked this up because it's a brown lip liner and so many brands still are not inclusive of the brown and black girls. And it's it's insane because such a basic brown lip liner is so hard to find. It's gotten a lot better. I dare say it's gotten a lot better. And every single time I see that a brand comes out with one, I snatched up so fast because we need it and not the palest freckle brown no we need rich chocolate shades to line our lips like you guys using lip eyeliners and stuff like why can't we just get a lip liner bro and why my computer want to be loud all of a sudden relax 
But when I saw that Refi had a lip liner, I grabbed, I grabbed it. Child, I grabbed it so quick. Look at that brown. It's a decent brown, beautiful. I think I'm gonna enjoy that. I actually saw Kyra use this brown. She said it was a shade sepia, which is this shade, but it seemed to lighter on hers. So I don't know if she just used a little bit or a lighter hand or if she had another shade. But either way, I didn't expect it to be this pigmented and this dark of a brown color. So yeah, I, I snatched it up. Um, and if I like this too, guess I'm getting another one, okay? Now this one comes with, is this a gloss on the other end? Lip Sculpt. I wasn't really sure what was happening on this other end right here. Like, it, like I don't know. I'm here for the lip liner. I have to figure out what this other stuff is. Um, it doesn't even look like a lip gloss. It looks like a, maybe a treatment or something. I don't know. I have to go and read more into this. But like I said, I got this for the lip liner, so... I'm so glad that they came out with a brown shade. Um, and it's a pretty decent shade. I'm not mad at it at all. At all. Um, I also got another lip liner from somebody that I was very surprised that they had. Too Faced? Like, when did y'all come out with a lip liner? A brown lip liner? Am I late or is this new? Chat, I don't know. But I told y'all, if I see a brown liner at Sephora, I am going to grab it. So this one is in the shade Extreme. No, that's not a shade. <laughs> it's called Extreme Lip Shaper. Plumping lip liner. Plumping? We gonna see. This is the shade Espresso Shot. Oh, whoa. I'm over here twisting stuff and like, wait, it's not moving. It's a, it's a click lip liner. What the actual freak? Okay, and also the tip is real thick, 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 honey. It's not giving like cute pencil. A uh, detail it's given marker it's given crayon um, but I feel like if you're strategic enough you could still use this okay not quite as dark as the refi one that's it on the top right there and that's the refi but it's a cute little brown I could work with that could they add some depth to it for sure and it's for sure going to get like dirty on the tip I don't know if you guys can see already when I was trying to draw it but like, yo, that's, that's innovative. Cause I ain't never seen that before. What? And it comes out real little too, so you don't waste any product, which I actually really appreciate because what did I do just now? Waste product. Oh crap, this is not gonna be able to close. Oh yes, it can. Yeah, I can. Moment of truth. And we're safe, okay. So if you have it out this much, you still will be able to close the lid without it smudging. Oh wow, that's interesting. Cool. I got, oh my God, two new lip liners, crazy. This says Nourishing Plant and Peptide Lip Balm. And I purely got this, it's from the brand Freck. I purely got this because of the name. If you know anything about me, you, you who would grab this for me based off the name alone because like wait I don't know I feel like it would have a sassier packaging but it is what it is and um yeah nothing special looking at all besides the name so could I have possibly just wasted my money on this because of the name um yeah yeah it's actually very so you're not gonna focus wow one thing about this camera, it's going to play me when she wants to. Like, we on her time. She is not on my time, baby. I am on her time. Hate to see it. Like, she bought herself. Because, like, how did she get here? Because of me or her? Yeah. Mm, no respect. <laughs> Next, I picked up the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Color. And I'm not going to hold y'all. These do not have good reviews at all. At all. Um, and they didn't even have any of the colors that I, I wanted, which is crazy because all these bad reviews and all the colors I wanted are gone. Mm. So I got the shade Soft Nude, which is probably not a good shade to start off with because I find that if you want a sense of a product, sometimes going too dark or too nude is not representative of the entire line. Sometimes nude products on certain lines are too thin 
but the rest of the line will be fine you know same thing with the, the darker color sometimes it'll be too thin and not opaque enough but that's not indicative of like the other 15 shades in the line so i probably shouldn't have gotten this shade but it was really the only one i was interested in but yeah people were saying that it was bleeding on the lips and it was just i don't know i don't know but it's a pretty color okay so i'm gonna try this out with one of my lip liners at some point it's just a nice pretty nude um so we gonna try it out i think his lip products are are okay I'm not in love with any of them, but they're, you know, they, they're cool. They cool or whatever. They cool. <laughs> I'm a trendy girl and I like to hop on trends. So here we are. Next, I saw this randomly and grabbed it. I've never even heard about it. <laughs> this is a Too Faced Lady Bold Empower Pigment Lipstick. Um, it says I'm thriving. And I really got it because of what they were advertising, which is that it's super long lasting. So I automatically assumed it would be like a matte lipstick, but I think this is a cream. Did it say cream? I'm not sure, but I picked this pretty color. I tend to pick these like more neutral colors <laughs> when I'm trying out something. Oh, sh oh, she's pretty. Uh, look at that pinky color. <gasps> oh, she's so pretty. She's more pinky than I thought. Like, look at the tube. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but the tube, it pulls more neutral. It doesn't pull as pink, more neutral, warm. But when you put it on, oh, that's gorgeous i cannot wait to wear this and i really hope that it is long lasting just because you guys know when i want a long lasting color lip i typically go for the maybelline vinyl liquid lipsticks because those are very comfortable on the lips and they last they freaking last um i have other lipsticks that i enjoy too but when i want to last all night that's the route i go in so we're gonna see if this is gonna be a competitor um they do have other pretty shades as well and I don't think I've ever tried a Too Faced lipstick before, so that should be very interesting. Oh my gosh, guys, we're almost done. We have like 16,000 more products, but we're almost done. <laughs> I'm going to do these two together, but I've been hearing so much about the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. And the cherry on the top for me was when I was watching... Oh, shoot, what's her name? Oh, that girl, she's so cute. She does like the fitness content. Whitney, Whitney Simmons. Whitney, darn it. She does like the, oh, diddly diddly do. And she talks to the waist. She's like, you're nothing. I'm gonna lift you and you're nothing. She is so cute. I love watching her little like workout videos, her like workout gym vlogs, whatever. I watch all her stuff, honestly. I just think that she just has a really sweet spirit and I don't know, she's just a vibe. Like, I fuck with her. But she used the one in the shade Poppy, and I was trying to get my hands on that, and it was freaking sold out. But I did get Pink Sugar and Vanilla Beige. They have these in store. So I picked these up. Mind you, I've never played with them. I never swatched them. I never, I just picked, saw them and grabbed them. Like, when I tell y'all, I have a sickness, like, girl. But I was like, a little twinge of color, I love that. Pink Sugar is a clear gloss. That's not gonna do anything for my pigmented lips. <laughs> Probably the same thing for vanilla beige. That's why I usually gravitate towards red glosses if I wanted to actually have some kind of color. Because that's really the only ones that do anything for me. Yeah, actually, can you guys see a little bit of color on these? All my lips, they're going to look the same. But, I mean, if you have lighter lips, then they'll have more of an impact on you. But, you know, like I said, I'm a trendy girl and I like to hop on trends. Even if they don't work for me. Hmm. Now, I I almost made it through the line and out the store. Baby, I'm telling you, I went to the register, checked out, paid for my things, was leaving, saw these glosses, and had to go right back in line again, okay? So I wanted to try out the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. Are you guys seeing a trend here? <laughs> if it's not a lip oil or some kind of nourishing treatment, it's like a plumping gloss. I want my lips to be plump at all times. Hi, hi, hi. So I got these two colors. Um, this one is, is this cherry vanilla? Cherry vanilla, and this one is daisy pink. And they're super cute in these frosted bottles, but I swatched the testers, and that's why I was like, oh, I want these. I definitely want these. Ooh, nice applicator, okay. Like, not thick, 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 but on a thicker side for sure. And pigmented. Y'all see that? And I especially wanted the pink one. 
because I feel like a soft baby pink lip is so cute. And that's how that looks. But y'all, I finally made it out of the store. But um, I can't even say finally made it out the store because clearly I placed another order. So, mm. but y'all know I'm gonna have to run it back a couple times to make sure I got everything because I'm not stocking up like this until the next sale in the fall so these gotta last me okay but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys were intrigued by some of the products that i mentioned if you have tried any of these please let me know your thoughts down below and let me know what you're planning on getting because it's not too late for me the sale is going on until the 24th if you are not a beauty insider member please make sure you go in store and create a reward membership account thingy situation it's free girl and you get to participate in these um savings events so it's a win-win situation baby um yeah let me know if you guys have any recommendations as well so that i can finish out the last of my shopping <laughs> but that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next one toodles <laughs>